Welcome to lesson number seven, working with INI files. So we've gone over files and registries. Now let's go over a particular sort of file and by that I mean INI files. Initialization files are configuration files that contain easily modifiable settings for applications. The INI file format looks something like this. Every section declaration starts with an open square bracket and ends with an closed square bracket. Parameters have the format of variable 1 equals ABC and consists of a key, which is variable 1, the sign equal and a value ABC. All lines that begin with comments are taken into account and ignored and Windows Installer ignores all the lines starting with semicolon. Now, MSI databases contain two distinct INI tables. One is called INI file and the other one remove INI file. But first, let's look at how you can use Advanced Installer to manipulate INI files. When we go to the Files and Folders page, there is a button at the top called New INI File. When we click this button, a new window opens in which we can create our INI file. Now, remember how I said that INI files have sections and entries? So, let's try to recreate the INI file that I just showed you. Let's start by making our first section and adding variable 1 and the other details. Now, let's create the second section and add our other variables. Oh, I forgot to rename the file before saving it. So right click it, select rename and save it as myconfiguration.ini. That's all there is to it. Now when you install your MSI, this INI file will be created by your installer. If the file already exists on the machine, it will update the sections and entries based on the options you choose when creating it in Advanced Installer. Advanced Installer can also import INI files by selecting Import Files, Import INI, or Import INI Advanced, which allows you to configure additional options. Advanced Installer includes some additional imports for XMLs or JSON files. I'll leave a link to our user guide for more information on that. As you can see, Advanced Installer allows you to easily manipulate your INI files. In the next video, we will have a look over shortcuts. Remember, you have all the information covered in this video and more in the MSI packaging book. Check the links in the description.